hey you there just wanted to let you know you are now listening to the ak mindset Mindset podcast Podcast. yo how you doing everyone welcome back to the ak mindset and today's the ak update you know we're just we're just talking stuff you know news hot topics of reactions uh, weekly watches so yeah glad to be back back like we never left and as always the boys are here with me today speak to them guys what's good people i hope all is well excited to be here for another week uh as we uh we just talk and we vibes and we enjoy it it's friday it is friday <laughs> <laughs> so yeah man yes sir yeah, but we're back for another episode of the AK update, normal now, uh, 46, I guess. But yeah, we're back. Hope everyone had a good Monday or week. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big episode 46. And as always, before we even go on, no, don't forget to, again, in touch with us on the social medias. We're on Twitter at AK Mindset and Instagram at the dot ak underscore mindset we're on tiktok as well we're on youtube you know find us we shall be there and we shall be giving you entertainment you know just like you yourselves talking and posting so we hope to see you guys on that platforms but yeah let's get into it um i guess we can start with uh i'm gonna, I'm gonna be different today switch up a little bit let's start with an over reaction we'll go to Gujo. Do your thing. Okay, okay. Uh yes. Uh you, you I'm not gonna lie, you caught me mid uh <laughs> posting on Insta on the on the story, uh trying to make sure everybody are aware that we recorded and enjoying <laughs> ourselves. But yeah, overreaction. Uh 90s anime aesthetic better than modern day aesthetic. I'm not gonna lie to you. This was a kind of thread or conversation I saw this week uh when I was doing my rounds on the socials. And I, it was pretty even, which is crazy. And uh, I could see that it was the mostly uh, age kind of divide. Uh, but the next day, I kind of went and looked at the 90s aesthetics more. And, and I was like, do you know what? I don't even know which one is better. You know what I mean? Especially with the overproduced anime aesthetics we have now. Uh, I want to kind of get you guys' take which one you prefer, which one looks cleaner, which one kind of moves you more. That's a hard question, I can't lie to you, because I can't even choose. Even though, you know, um, if you, you've been listening to us, you know, I, I like my new anime and the uh, crisp animation, the portable and Demon Slayer kind of hype. Um, but sometimes you just need to watch a Dragon Ball or like a Cowboy Bebop and it's it's beautiful at the same time. And the animation sometimes look to be better than some of the new ones we get these days. So it's a hard one. I think when aesthetic wise, I think I might like the nineties better if it's just based on aesthetic, but there's no denying like obviously the animation has got a lot better. It's a lot more cleaner nowadays. Like the best of the best now compared to the best of the best back then. I think there's a clear difference. But if just plainly aesthetic and things that people enjoy, I won't be surprised if people enjoy like the nineties modern, like the modern day. Because I feel like the modern day, there's no like a distinction, maybe, or maybe I'm even overreacting myself. But I think you can tell, oh, this is nineties anime. I feel like you can't really tell the difference between like the clean twenty tens and the clean like beyond that as well. So I don't know, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that's what kind of makes it special, isn't it? It's like you know, as soon as you see. Uh, the nineties aesthetic that the time period is like is you know it instantaneously, mm. and it always has a certain kind of nostalgia. Has a certain vibe. It has a a certain art style, and especially during that period, is has a certain kind of creativity. Uh, in regards to like characters designs and stuff like that, which is uh very different and very you know like the opposite of what we have now uh Mm. what about you dan what do you think um i think for me i would prefer the i do like the older style i think and it's not just because it's 90s i think just um difference in how it's actually being produced um 
being hand drawn rather than doing on the tablets i feel like it just offers that different level of uh not quality but kind of uh identity that you don't really get mod in the modern series um mostly the same samey you get the standouts when it's actually like a good production but you wouldn't really say there's anything that makes it oh yeah this is 2010 or 2020s like you guys are saying so um i would say i prefer like the the feel of the older shows um and just because it's just like i think the animation was better and they had they did less they did more with less rather than mm. with all the resources people have today you don't really see anyone doing anything that's like groundbreaking apart from like the ufo tables or um madhouse back in the day when they were on the top or shaft as well yeah i think i, I understand the kind of the generation kind of split as well because i think for people like us and older who grew up with like the old anime it might have a lot more impact compared to someone who started now and they all, all they know is like demon slayer and Mihiro academia so it might be a different kind of opinion from them um but i think the way i can explain it perfectly just came to me is like i think the 90s is more iconic and maybe like the 2010s or 2020s are like more uh black quality is better but it depends who you speak to as well to be fair i think yeah, I think when you see, like, the best animation, you probably think, like, stuff that you should would do. Then when you think iconic, you think about the 90s show, like the Dragon Balls, like, old school, like Naruto, or, like, Kobo Bebop or Trigon, stuff like that. So, yeah. I want to know how hard you guys do think it is for, uh, say, people or kids growing up who have never experienced that kind of art style, anime style, and they have only seen uh, the productions that we have now and uh, the kind of uh, intense quality and shine of today's modern anime. Do you think it would be very difficult for them to, uh, if they had to, uh, watch something? Because I, I even feel like uh, sometimes the even the pacing of mm. like how the animation is like and how it flows the flow and how it's produced is so different from what we have now uh and i think you kind of need to be sometimes a bit more patient when you watch some of the older classics uh because like uh both of you said they were trying to be experimental they were trying to try new things and you know, be as creative as they can. And it didn't work every time, but it also added to the beauty of it when it all came together. Because there's some flaws, but then there's magic in the flaws. So how do you think it'd be hard for the younger generation or who've only seen one style to watch something like that? I think it is, you know, because even sometimes for me, it's a bit harder to go to like the older kind of animation, me personally. I think the younger people are using, like, they're going to find it even more harder because especially nowadays where you, you have to hit it off like the first two episodes basically and <laughs> if it if don't like make it if it's not perfect and it doesn't flow and doesn't get into the action or you don't see something crazy happen or like a cliffhanger go, they call it mid they don't like it so it might be different but then again that might be generalized and generalizing them a little bit there might be some people just generally enjoy like some people like and thanks for everything some people like new kids now they like old school music, so it might be the same. So I think it's probably 50-50, really. But I think it, I, I would expect it to be harder for them, but I might be wrong. What about you, Dan? Yeah, I think, um, you know, this TikTok generation, you already know people's attention spans are fried. <laughs> so if um, 10 things don't happen in the first episode, they're screaming. But yeah, so I don't, I don't have any faith in these guys to sit down and actually watch a show for that's more than 50 episodes um but I, I, all i can say is i can't relate you know i'll do it. in fact they don't even have excuses because there's actually plenty of shows that are like shorter than that if you just watch like ovas and stuff so yeah they don't really have excuses but i don't know, I know they're gonna make some so yeah, yeah. last Especially thing I think some of the older ones are really good, like the, the iconic shows as well. 
So there's so many really good old animes in the 90s. So I think as a true anime fan, I think you should just watch it anyway. But then again, it depends what kind of... But the generals are there as well. So, and the demographics are there as well. So depending on anything, you can go Sailor Moon, you can go Trigon, you can go Old School Romance, you know. it's You, you have your choice. So I think if you really enjoy anime, I think it'll be a disservice to yourself if you don't like watch some of the old ones. Last one quickly. Then do you man think that that kind of iconic anime 90s and even further back is eventually going to die out totally? I don't think it will. No. Just the, the big hairs alone will not let it die out and how we like it so much as well. So I feel like people like Gosling introduced it to our kids and it's never going to die out, especially because the quality is really good as well. Mm-hmm. Like no one's never going to stop talking about like original Dragon Ball or like nope. the Cowboy Up. It's like Netflix still has it. They're still showing you putting on the front pages. So it's never going to die, in my opinion. I think you agree with that, Dan? Yep, I concur. Lovely. Uh, well, that's me with the overreaction stuff, guys. Amazing. That's, that was a really good one. It was interesting. Um, but moving on, we're going to touch on the topics, you know. Um... Yes, it's an interesting one I see there. No, I'm an anime awards. So I think I was with Joe. So I'm back to you again. Yeah, let me quickly introduce this. Uh, I think it's like the general death of award shows in general um, over the last couple of years with stuff like the Grammys and Golden Globes and other awards. Uh, people have kind of lost the uh, kind of hype and intrigue around them. Not saying that. And this is not talking about the quality of the things being produced and the acting or the shows that are out there. It's just the awards itself. So obviously, um, we are moving swiftly towards the animal, animal, the anime <laughs> awards, <laughs> the anime awards, and that are coming up. And I have been seeing just a lack of kind of conversation and hype around. Mm-hmm. Or excitement around it. I just want to know, like, did you guys notice that? Do you do you guys know why? Is there is there a reason that kind of come to mind? Uh, why mm-hmm. we're kind of losing like love with these type of awards? Uh, <laughs> you go first, Dan. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't speak to award shows in general because I never watched them. So, in fact, the only time I I really watched any was because of um my guy when he slapped um my man <laughs> but that was about it that's, my uh, guy when that, he slapped my man <laughs> yeah that, that was that was that was hilarious and people have reacted but oh, um, i digress um with the country on the world ones is because they do the same thing every year and then they've implemented this stupid thing where they don't count the full season of that year in that year's award they count it for next year's award so that's really dumb um and um they just they just used the same five shows for like 20 categories i scrolled through the nominations and i saw like the least the same shows and i'm just like bro there's too many animes that air in one year for you to just pick from the same pool but you know how it is so like i said i didn't want to complain because i wasn't gonna vote and i wasn't gonna watch it so um i think it's pointless for me to complain but yeah um i won't be there I respect it. I respect it. Over oh, yet. Yeah, I agree with what he's saying. Um, I think Country especially is like very, very notorious for picking the same shows. Remember the one time like <laughs> my academia just swept everything and everyone's like, hmm. huh? What was what's going on? Then Demon Slayer came out. Yeah, it's just I feel like this like Daniel said, there's too much anime and too much kind of genres and demographics for the same five shows to win every time and the same characters to be chosen for the thing. I think they need more anime, more categories. I think when some anime fans feel like the favorite shows or favorite genres are not being represented, of course, there's going to be less interest. Like for us personally, you know, we stopped doing the Control Awards kind of um, episode because I think we just lost interest really. And because we're just like, you know what, I expected this to be nominated in the first place and wasn't even there. And they, sometimes they serve to win, but they're not even nominated. So it's like, 
obviously the big ones for the year. So we're talking Mario Academia is going to be there every time. Um, Demon Slayer, the One Pieces, and everything. But it's like all the shows that are niche and really good and never get to shine. So I think that's it. But at the same time, also I think one thing Control does maybe digressing a little bit, but the way they implement some of the content creators, I think that's the one thing they do good in the awards. But apart from that, no interest. Then when you go to like the Grammys and it's the same thing all over again. It's like I think who said it? I think Drake had like a uh, like he was talking before the court. It's not mic off. It's like you know what? Sometimes you don't even need these people to tell you how good you are with your animation, mm. your series, or your voice and talent. You know, you just just know that people you have fans and people enjoy it. So sometimes it doesn't really matter. But obviously, it's gonna be painful if you feel like you've done something really great and your fans say you've done something really great, but you don't get even nominated for it. Same thing with like the shows because. For the past year or two, I just every single time, instead of like the sh- like the awards itself, I see people complaining about the awards. Like this person should have won. Mm. How did this person? What what this game show? What this this game didn't win? This music actors didn't win. This artist didn't win. So I think I think this is compared to like five ten years ago, is a lot more negative kind of connotation to it. So I think we just need more. We need Kanye back, really spice it up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill me. No, I do. I do hear that. Uh, like, especially what Dan said is like, there's a whole. I've also lost kind of interest in it. Like, mm. I remember we used to have conversations about the awards, but <coughs> if you think about it, they become so repetitive. They become oh. as repetitive as the actual awards. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the same conversations, the same. Oh, who do you think is going to win? Uh, mm. and you can guess and stuff like that uh so it it loses firstly uh that it loses the novelty of it and it also loses the fact that the respect we have for it like yeah. you the level of respect you have for awards will signify how much value you're going to put on it and they have devalued themselves repeatedly unfortunately uh i don't know if they can recover i don't know if they can improve stuff or actually I won't say that. Everybody can improve. Everybody can get better. So they can improve their show and they can uh, improve that. But I don't know if they want to or will like change and switch up the formula. Uh, mm. I want them to, though. I want them to. Do you mind think like, it will ever change? It will, it will, it will improve? Will we ever get the love for watching these kind of awards and validating certain people? Unless they do something drastic. I don't think. Maybe if, like, the more they lose, more, like, viewership and people more interested in it, maybe they might change it. But I don't think yeah. it's going to happen anytime soon, really. But hopefully it does. I obviously, want, people want more variety. I think the way they can make it better is simply just putting more effort in. Because it feels like it's like, oh, this is most popular. We're going to put it there. So I think put more mm-hmm. effort, more kind of categories um, and show, like, okay, if this has the good animation, put it there. Not because we don't have them, but you think people haven't watched it. So you don't put it there. Just give everything a chance. Be more diverse in your choosings. I think that alone is going to make it better. I don't know if I'm going to be interested in it because, like I said, the conversation around it is kind of repetitive. But I feel like that alone is going to make it better. So it's possible to change and make it better. But I don't know if this, this like, people are going to do it. But, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think unless they're losing major money, they don't have any incentive to change it they're only getting more popular i mean they got like also meg the stallion <laughs> on it on it this year so like why would they change at least for the control and then like the other award shows um i mean it's just uh i mean good for the actors and then the showrunners but i mean like i said I'd, i i don't watch them so i mean I'm, I'm not the target audience anyway so it doesn't really matter i guess yeah, they're, they're serving whoever they choose to serve, innit? and they get out whatever yeah. they want to get out of it. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, man. Amazing. That's a pretty good topic. I like that. Um, I think, yeah, Danny, you have one as well. Yeah, I was going to do Valentine's special, but I was like, we don't care about that. <laughs> um, so, I was going to I was gonna ask you guys, what's um, one series... Um, that you watch or read that um if someone were to ask you while you're watching it they're looking at you with your eyebrows raised like a guilty pleasure mm. 
That mm. one is a tough one, you know. <laughs> yeah, I can start if you want. Yeah, you can set, set face. Okay, so I started watching this show called um, Ume Museme or something like that. Um, and to put it simply, it's horse racing, but the horses are horse girls. And um, that's all I'll say. And <laughs> I was I was very surprised at how good the series was. Like the races are actually intense, and I don't understand why. Because it's literally just horse girls. And um, you know, I'll just I'll shout out a few people. Special week. That's the that's literally what the main character is called. Special and week. That's crazy. Yeah. And it's actually based on real horses in Japan. So like these are actually. Oh. These are actually actual horses, the names of the people. Can so we, you can we like, place bets? Is there... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you'll lose, but... <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, w- I would say watch the first three episodes and, and see if you like it, because it's actually very entertaining. I, I, w- I was pleasantly surprised. I've already watched the first season, but then I went on my break, so I haven't been able to watch more, but... Yeah, man. Is it comedy? It's, 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 it's Loki as it's Loki as sports anime. <laughs> oh yeah, technically. <laughs> I said yeah, sports. Anime. I'm I'm not joking. <laughs> oh, just, oh, yeah, 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 I can see that. It really is. <laughs> also, you got um, Gold Ship, Silent Suzuka. Okay, that's probably the most Japanese. Oh, and they got this this one from um, um Mexico, El Condor Pasa. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds I'm like it's gonna finished. be finished. Yeah, but it looks hella questionable because, like, obviously, it's these girls who look like horses. So, but you know, <laughs> I have fun watching it. Is there enjoyment? As long as you enjoy, nobody mm. can take that away from you. Yeah, they can't. Uh, I'll go next then. Uh, I don't know if it's questionable, but I think it will just be surprising. And it's the Vampire Diaries. Mm. And okay. Questionable mm. though. I it's I don't know. Cause I feel like it would be questioning if somebody saw me, and then they were like, "Why is this like six or three black guy watching the Vampire Diaries?" Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? No, okay, I feel you. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, why is he interested in in these ships and and like what's the, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't make sense. It's not adding up. Uh, mm. But like surprisingly, very entertaining but it's like mm. do you know it's one of those shows like because it's old it's like stuck in that time period so everything that happens like you have to kind of contextualize to uh the years it kind of came out but very it kind of stays on brand because i also enjoyed like teen wolf back in the day oh teen wolf. i don't know if i can watch it now but teen wolf back in the day i i'm not gonna lie to you it was fire bro it was fire it's fire. Oh my days. Yeah, I was in my team with bag. I I just you know, sometimes I'm so grateful that I had sisters, you know. Cause they put me on. Bags. They put me because it without them, <laughs> I would have been ignorant to these good out, shows. Bro. I would have missed out. Bro, I wouldn't I wouldn't have watched I wouldn't have read um what's it called? Uh what's the the vampire Twilight series? I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have read the Twilight series. That's not good. It's not. But I wouldn't have read it. <laughs> so it's not. But it was an experience, bro. But the, legit, it's the experience. I'm not. I'm not ignorant to the experience because okay. I read it. You know what I mean? I wouldn't like. I did, it was not good, but I read it. Mm. I was there, Definitely. and now I can even I can discuss it. it. You know, it made me a well-rounded individual because I Fact. had, I have other things uh, apart from football. I could I could talk about. <laughs> Oh my yeah. days, but yeah, Vampire Diaries. Very, no. I would say, watch it, man. Good show. Very long, you know, though. It's, it's, it is long. It has loads of um, seasons, doesn't it? Yeah. Eight seasons. And it has like, Never enough, like originals as well. Legit. Ooh. I don't know how deep I'm going to go into it, but... Uh, you have a lot of content, though, so you should be happy. I, that's for sure. That is for Ooh. sure. Yeah. Which is a big fan of that. It has the spin-off, the originals. Is it? It's, it's, Oh, he, Man, he enjoys I... his, his vampires and werewolf stories, bro, and magic. Um, but you know, your answer gave me loads and loads of ideas. Because well, I was struggling, I was like, what should I say? Should I say something like prison school? But now, nah, I think your answer, um, even though prison school is a good answer, I can't lie to you. But your answer gave me loads of 
ideas because I be thanking my sisters every day because I used to beef them before. It's like, I want to watch my own thing, bruv. Mm-hmm. Why do I have to watch what they're watching? And the kids as well. But no, stuff like the Lizzie, Mich- um, Lizzie McGuire show, Zoe 101, mm-hmm. them shows oh, cool. there, bro. I can have discussions all day about like the intricacies of the show. What? Oh, no, those are questionable. That's, but you see, the thing is the same thing with um, Rajal. It's not question. Oh, whoa. Lost me for a sec. But it's not questionable. But it's like, if you see me just like super interested in the hype about it, you're like, why is it? Okay, that's fair. Why are you? No matter like, what I go, no, I don't even know. Mm-hmm. Ah, banger, banger, banger. But yeah, so shows like that, you know, like Big Time Rush. You know, that was oh, bro, yeah. The... So that's what that's, that's, that's not. But apparently, Damn. that's what I'm saying. But, but I'm not gonna lie to you. Girls. Yeah, but I was there. It is kind of bro. It is. It's not questionable. But you know, like I'm not talking about uh, Wings uh, Club uh, in public, uh, with, like with people. Uh, I watch Wings Club. Wings Club. You see, it's not yeah. questionable. But we were out, the... we were there. We, 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 we had younger sisters, so we yeah. have an excuse. Maybe it's not questionable for us, but like, like I'm saying, the big time rush. It was like the boy band show. It was for the girlies, apparently. That's what they're saying. I was there. Every I, week. Was there. I was there. For seats. I was there. With them. I was dancing. When Bro. we go big time. <laughs> so yeah, Listen that's the thing. Even stuff like Sam and Cat and Victorious. Apparently, it's like that was like it was on Pop Girl, so it was for the girlies. But I'm like, I'm watching it anyway. Did I say what's on? I did. Did I? I might have said, hey. I think we should flick on Pop Girl today just to see what's going well, on. Literally, I do it myself. <laughs> I tell the old girl, come, come sit down. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, so it's, the wing. it's good. Tony totally Spice? Yeah. Come on now. Yeah, Tony totally Spice. Uh, now nah, that's for the guys as well, man. That's what I say. But apparently, it wasn't. that's a synonym for. It depends with guys, are... it depends with the guys we're talking to, though. It depends with the guys we're conversating with. Because certain of them would, mm-hmm. would actually exclude think... us from the conversation. Oh, so is it? It was a good show. 100%. Time. But it was, a, it was a leak show. Good show. Wow. I don't care about genders. If it's a good show, I'm watching it. I don't care right. if it's on the pop girl. I'm watching yeah, it. It's you, good. Who so, was your favorite Winx Club member? I didn't watch Winx Club like you, man. So I don't oh, know. Okay, fair, fair. Do you know what? It's actually, actually very tough. Uh, who would I say is my favorite? Who was your favorite first? No, I think I was probably who basic. Like, probably like Stella or um, what's her name, Flora. I think uh, probably someone like Bloom. Yeah, yeah, she's she was cool. cold. MC uh, tax. Yeah, MC tax is very hard. That's I do want to go for her obvious first one, but yeah, Stella is cold as well. Uh, was it Aisha? Whatever her name so. is. Yeah, she was and cool. Techno as well. Yep. They they had a couple. They had a couple. I'm not gonna lie to you. Hmm. Did you man watch My Little Pony? I did, no, but I wasn't heavily anyway. invested. I was, heavily but I did watch it. That. that is my that's my answer. Because <laughs> hey, <you're> pony, yeah? <laughs> that was questionable. I that is questionable that was still. Yes, <laughs> but it was a good show because my sisters loved it. So it's like I had to watch it if I want to watch TV. So I have to be there <laughs> if I unless I want to go to my room and just be angry and moody. So. Yeah, but I had my my favorite characters because what do you oh. know about Applejack? Applejack oh. was the best. I didn't like Twilight Sparkle because she was just annoying. Don't kill Pinkie me. Pie was annoying as well. I know the characters, bro. Don't oh, kill relax me. on to, relax on the whatever her name is, bro. <laughs> what Pinkie Pie? What's yeah. Pinkie Pie? Nah, is annoying. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, but low key, Rainbow Dash was the best though. What, what mm. made what made Rainbow Dash elite? She was just no. She was she had that edge. She was a edgy kid basically and did what she want no I thought she was made for me not yeah. your average pony not your average pony you, you get that's a no but your average pony <laughs> you get no if you might love I know there are fans of it don't be shy my little pony was, was fire uh, <laughs> my sister banged that out too much for me to oh. that Equestria <laughs> Girls movie oh. of course yeah yeah when will I, it end? I could list off so many things that I was supposed to watch, but Bratz. I was pretending not to like it. Bratz was decent. Bratz was good. Bratz was, what is it? I need to know. Bratz, did you? So, Ed, you watch Bratz? Uh, the thing we watched it a little bit. The, what we watched was good, but for some reason, my my mom was like, "Yeah, we're not watching that no more." But I need to so know. 
Bratz versus Barbies, which one is better? Oh, my, my sister's a Barbie girl, so I have to... Yeah. yeah, I'm going to have to go with Barbie too. I've seen too many different movies. Mm. I rate, like? I rate Ken, but I'll right. be on the Brat side. I think they just they just had they just had signs. <laughs> I rate Ken. <laughs> so I, so I don't even rate Barbie. I rate Ken, but on the Brat side. But I didn't get to watch Brat as much as I did. Maybe if I did, I could have rated it because I know I think Brat was like meant for the black girls as well. Apparently, oh, really? to Barbie. yeah, hundred yeah. percent. That's why my like little sisters watched it a lot. Yeah, and my mum made but them I like, much, happy to go and watch it. I watched too much Barbie to decide with the other one. Swan Lake. Oh my god, that was on repeat. Oh yeah, I remember that. That yeah, was on repeat. Oh, but yeah, I have to side with the Barbies for my sisters. What I've learned today is that we, in certain <laughs> crowds, we've watched very questionable shows and enjoyed <laughs> a lot of questionable shows. <laughs> should we release this one or should we just? <laughs> I, 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 think I feel ashamed of so yeah. I don't man. feel ashamed of it, bro. You might think it's questionable, <laughs> but my little pony was hard, and I would not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not moving from my stance, bro. It is a good show and Rainbow Dash is the GOAT. Simply put. Oh my <laughs> but, but yeah, I liked all the answers, Loki. I gave like seven answers there, but I, I'm going to go a little point is my main answer. But that, that was a good show. That's mm. a good show. Um, I guess it's a good time to go to the news. Um, funny enough, I think it's going to put the news is there, both of them. But yes, we got a new trailer for a show called X-Men 97, kind of. Nice. And it's it's not like a remake, which I was happy about. It wasn't a remake. It was literally just continuing on the story from the original X-Men animated series, which brought a smile to my face. But did you guys see it? I didn't. I haven't watched the trailer, man. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't. You didn't? Oh. I'm even just I trying to look out fresh, now. Though. When did it come out? I, I saw it this morning, can't lie to you. But I think it came out probably yesterday. No. I'm, I'm looking at the images, but yeah, it, look, it looks clean still. It's classic, yeah. classic X Men. Mm, exactly. Actually, classic X Men. It looks newer. It's not exactly like the same kind of animation and like the art, but yeah. you could tell like the they're trying to make it as close as possible and they're carrying on. So it makes me happy. It's not a remake, which makes me happy. They're literally finishing off from the story that they had after like I don't know if you guys have watched it, but after like a situation happened with the character. So it makes me smile because that was my Saturday watchings. Um, I have one so question yeah. though. What? Are certain characters still thick? Oh, no, that's one of the complaints people were having. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this uh, was not know, my question. This was the people's question. You know, people are talking what about Rogue. Problem? And Rogue is, I don't think Rogue is like, as the, as the young people say, not me. She's no longer a muscle mommy. But um, yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's sad, yeah. man. That would you know every a lot of people are inspired to go to the gym and My build trust and and build impressive physiques and be very healthy, and we're going to miss out on that. Yeah, yeah. But I'm I'm excited. Uh, I'll be I'll be tuned in. So I will be too. Yes. Um. But apart from that, we also got the. Oh, this is interesting. We got a cast for the Fantastic Four. The Marvel Fantastic Four movie. I don't know if you guys saw that as well. I did. Got Pedro and yes. some other guys. <laughs> some other guys as well. What do you guys think about the casting? I won't did... be watching, but sounds good. You won't be watching? Oh. No. Uh, fam, when was the last MCU movie I watched? Uh, I can't even remember. True. Damn. I think because I'm a big Fantastic Four fan i'm excited because oh they made the siblings actually the same color this time so exactly (laughs) it's a good sign (laughs) it's a good place to start and they didn't i feel like they didn't pick like just for for the old movie we shall not mention they didn't i feel like they just picked like oh who are the most popular people at this time let's pick them because i have opinions of one specific character one why he was in so many movies like in the 2010s but um then michael b jordan sometimes like why why was he yeah, it's so many questions but it looks good and i don't know i can't help be excited but not be excited for fantastic four because that was it that spider-man x-men i was i was in the front seats with animated movie um shows and movies and the comics so i got me excited and we got pedro which some people do not seem to be happy about for some reason. He's a bit weird, isn't it? 
because um, he's a great he's a great actor. Yeah, but, but apparently people think he doesn't have the range to do like a smart character. Um, That's a crazy him. statement. You but know. I don't know why you're doubting this guy's <laughs> acting abilities. But I think because you no, know, I think. Also, let me do a hot take. Do you think people care too much about the castings, like the what do you call it? Yeah, fan casts. Hundred percent. A hundred percent. It's not a hot take. It's like an overreaction. What is a topical? What because people just be they angry. It's like why is he here? We don't want him. We want this guy instead. I'm like I've never heard some of the people that were like talking about. I never heard of them before. But that might just be me being like ignorant to like good actors. But I was like, "What's wrong with Pedro?" I think I think people just feel overly entitled to the way they think something they love should look like. You know what I mean? Like they they yeah. ha- they they get kind of lost in the uh, the actors they have already imagined uh, to play those parts, and when the reality hits, and it's like that's not the people we've chosen. They're perplexed and angered so like i just think they're just it just shows you i think is both sides of coins just shows you how big and and crazy uh these universes are and how beloved these Mm. characters are that people you know really want them to be uh done justice but so it shows you that you know on the other hand like maybe we're too invested in things that are not real (laughs) you know what i mean yeah Yeah, there's other things that we should have the same energy for. Yeah. I feel like sometimes as well, people don't, just, like, what if the person says no? Or maybe if the, like, the director says, I don't even want this guy, I want the other one. Like, there's so many things that can go into it. Um, but even though, like, fan cast can be fun because I think one of the ones that I've liked in recent years is, um, I forgot his name, the guy from Kingsman as Wolverine. Um, Kingsman? Yeah. No, the main character's from Kingsman. Uh, you know Kingsman, right? Yeah. Like the, I've heard of it, but I haven't watched it yet. Um, the Taron Egerton or something like that. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, that guy. Um, people want him as a Wolverine. I think I'm pretty good. He that would have been a good fit, to be honest. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, because he knows he has a height, he's a bit shorter, and him with a beard looks kind of pretty close as well the same guy so, did the elton john biopic yes him yeah and did like a new like i don't uh, know if it was a series or a movie about like a when he was talking to like a serial killer or something like that but yeah but it can be fun but i think people just get too serious and get upset because like i'm not gonna watch it what but you, fantastic four in the same sentence they say fantastic four is your favorite <laughs> comic as a kid but you're not gonna watch it because the person you thought you wanted didn't get it Okay. There are very reasons not to watch Marvel movies. You know, for the real? track record. <laughs> that is a crazy choice for me. Um, but I've, I shouldn't say I have high hopes because I shouldn't really say that, but I'm excited but cautious at the same time because hopefully they do well. But hey, if they, if they could do Guardians of the Galaxy 3, that was an amazing movie. I still think they got in them. And plus, we see everyone's seen the Deadpool trailer, haven't they? Mm-hmm. That was also exciting. No? Nope. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool as well. So I think that's about the only movies I really care about at this point. Everything okay. else. <laughs> Speaking of, oh my god, did you guys hear about Madam Web? I've been hearing. Yes. I was actually listening to him before this. <laughs> yes. It was cheeks like I thought it would be. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've never seen every single person who talked about that movie. Every um, everyone I saw said it was terrible. Even the people that are like really nice and say give it a chance said this is the worst movie you've seen. Do you know what it is if Antennas exist and you think that's the worst movie? It's wild, isn't it? Jeez, I don't know what they did, but then again, Sunny have they have even a worse track record than Marvel. Marvel has a good track record to be fair in the past like ten years, but in the past like three years they haven't. But Sunny, uh, yeah, because. I don't know how you get everyone to hate the movie, but <laughs> that's my two um, news for for the week. But let's go into I quickly watch before we round it up. But yeah, what have you been watching throughout the week, or reading, or listening to? Um, we'll go with y'all first. 
uh yeah this was a interesting week apart from the stuff that I, don't, I haven't had a lot of time to watch stuff but the time i did watch i did invest in uh finishing off see you in my 19th life and i actually haven't finished it technically i have one more episode but it's like an hour went 20 episode i'll probably watch it at some point this weekend uh but it's it's been a, a journey to say the least a very complex journey and i have thoroughly enjoyed some parts that i didn't think i would enjoy of this series and this uh k-drama uh just continue to show why you know what's so great about k-drama is just how long form they are how deep you're able to no characters just because of the length of time you spent with them like hour plus episodes 16 episodes that 16 to 17 hours of content is crazy for just a, just a just a normal <laughs> show just a normal show so um yes i've been thoroughly impressed and a lot of depth with uh, multiple characters uh and just the complexity of what they were trying to go into in regards to uh, having multiple lives and the difficulty of having multiple lives and uh, interacting with people you've interacted with in the previous lives and the, the difficulty and emotion that goes around, you know, being someone who never dies and is crazy and the kind of trauma and pain. And also, on the other hand, the, the amount of happiness that you're also able to kind of live out and experience. But you're also thinking, is it worth it? Because the pain is paining. <laughs> um, but yeah, that I'm excited to finish and move on to something else. I think my next show I'm going to move on to is going to be uh, probably more modern day, probably more detective, you know, something. Oh, i got a show for you. Let me oh, know. Oh, my God. Uh- I forgot the name, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you after this. That's calm. That's calm. All right, Daniel, what have you been watching? Or reading? Um, so I've been still listening to the Throne of Throne of Jade or second book in the Tamara series in China now. Uh, very interesting so far. But what I've really been the main focus for me this week is I was watching. The show, which I mentioned last week, Hilda, the first season. Uh, really cool cartoon. Um, Hilda is um, a very unique individual. She goes to her own pace, very in touch with the wild and wilderness, um, really likes to... Um, she's just very impulsive, sometimes to her detriment. But I like the world. It's very um, interesting fantasy um twig the like fox she has is cool um frida is high maintenance but you know we kind of like her because of that and david he's low-key a waste man but uh we like him because of that too but yeah i like it good show well done with you i appreciate it he's a low-key waste man um <laughs> but i said watching it today funny enough but my mom wanted to watch some aki and Popo, so um <laughs> mom for the win <laughs> yeah yeah not specifically that show but she just wants to watch a nigerian so she was just mm. she was questioning me like you woke up this morning and said to watch cartoons i'm like you can, like, <laughs> never mind <laughs> so um so I'm, i was surprised she was british as well can't lie to you i was expecting like an american mm-hmm. yeah it's a nice touch so that's different so it's definitely gonna be interested um so yeah well done with y'all for that but um for me um, just quickly, I started watching, my sister got me into kind of game show kind of watchings because she likes to watch, uh, is this a cake or not? And different shows like that. And she to watch something called The Mole. Then we started watching something together this week called Physical 100. Um, okay. I wish yeah, that I my I'm, sister as well, bro. I passed the hype, but that's what I like. So I'm watching it on my own pace now with the, with the family, technically. So it's, it's good. Yeah, the first yeah. episode was funny. Second episode was even funnier, so I'm enjoying it a lot. And yeah, some surprises. Don't underestimate anyone ever when it comes to physical abilities. But yeah, that was pretty good. I'm still reading my, or listening to my series, um, the trilogy for The Puppy War. I'm in the second book, chapter nine. Mm-hmm. And that has been pretty good. I think I like my main character again. 
I think it's really hard not to like her sometimes, <laughs> even though she be. She's done some crazy questionable things. Like she's very impulsive, but that's our girl. So, um, begrudgingly, she has my support. <laughs> Because I don't know if it's because everyone else is just annoying, and, not annoying, but everyone is just Jesus Christ. There's kind of betrayal and planning and cunning. Is a good show. I'm enjoyed. I'm glad Daniel told me to start reading books or listening to books on yeah. Spotify because I found this gem. Um, yeah. Apart from that, I found the name of the series which is called The Killer Paradox. The Killer Paradox. Uh, it's new. I said it looks really interesting. I watched the trailer, so. I haven't started it yet, but I think it's detective and, you know, intense thriller, so I think you'll like it. Um, you've watched Bloodhounds, haven't you? I haven't, you know. Oh, that's pretty good as well. It was about um, MMA, so kickboxing, actually. So it's pretty good, but yeah, that's my... But that's me. That's us for today, except anyone else has something to say. No, you know, nope. I've said everything. I've laughed all my laughs. I've said all my dumb comments. I'm all out. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay. Yeah, let's end it then. Um, just for the closing, I'll say, Daniel, speak to them. Close out for us. Okay. Well, um, that was another episode. Hope you guys enjoyed as always. Uh, if you've listened this, five, this far, even, leave a comment. Um, let us know what you think. Um, and have a good week, have a good day. Make sure you're sleeping well. Um, buy an Apple Watch if you need to record your sleep. <laughs> and uh, me, Rajal, and Ed will catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace. Deuces.